250 nuclear explosions. That's what the USSR planned to dig a canal, not with machines, but with bombs. The idea was ambitious. The Soviets wanted to connect the Pora and Kama rivers, to redirect water into the Volga, and ultimately into the shrinking Caspian Sea. The project was called Taiga. But this was no ordinary construction plan. Instead of shovels and bulldozers, the Soviets planned to dig using nuclear explosions. In 1971, they launched the first stage. Three underground nuclear bombs, each 15 kilotons in power, were detonated simultaneously. The result? A massive canal, 700 meters long, 380 meters wide. The scientists claimed it was a success, and completely safe. But the truth was far from safe. Radioactive fallout drifted beyond the USSR's borders. Environmental damage, global outrage, the world had seen enough. Facing international backlash, the Soviets shut down Project Taiga permanently. The site of the three blasts eventually filled with water, becoming what is now known as Nuclear Lake. Even today it holds elevated radiation levels. Not deadly, but certainly not a place to swim.